Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Elizabeth, it's good to have you. Please consider subscribing and turning on your post notification bell if you are a crafter or just enjoy crafting videos. My goal at the moment is to have a thousand of you lovely people subscribe to my channel. So please help me to achieve my goal so I can continue to bring you more crafting videos. Today I'm going to be showing you how I use Tech Wrap's colour changing vinyl to create a personalised Love Island cup. And if you would like to see how I do this, stay tuned. <laughs> So I'm going to be uh, creating a Love Island inspired um, Libby glass here. So I've got my Libby glass, this is a 12 ounce one, and I'm going to be coupling it up with this uh, Tech Wrap uh, color changing vinyl. Okay, so this vinyl goes from pink, this hot pink, to red so i'm going to be putting the two together to create a love island kind of uh drinkware so anyone who is um a fan of love island would know what that looks like um, i'm a fan and so is a person that i am making this for so that is what i'm going to be doing today and i'm going to be using the cricket to cut out my vinyl so I'm going to take you to the uh, Cricut Design Space to show you what I did. So I'm in Cricut Design Space and I've already downloaded the font that's very similar to the one they use in Love Island. It's called the Pasita and it's available free on the font. So I'm just going to start typing out my name here. And with the Pasita font, there are extra fonts that are available that you can't use your keyboard to access. So I'm just going into my font book to select the Pasita font so I can see the other extra fonts that are available. And we can see here there are lots of different fonts also available that you can't access with your keyboard. This is a really nice font because it gives you so many extras. And with the Love Island font, um, some of the letters are cursive and some are not. So I'm just gonna start copying and pasting onto Cricut Design Space the actual font that I want to use. And you can have a look or have an idea of what an actual Love Island merch would look like if you just go on their site and type the actual name and it will let you know which are uh, joined up cursive and which are not so I just copy and I just paste so my L my E my A and my N are all joined up and the O and the R are not they're separate so I'm just going to use my keyboards just to type out the O and the R. So here I'm just lining them up and spacing them out slightly. And then I'm going to select everything and go up to my alignment and align them to the bottom just so that they're nice and straight. However, this font is quite thin and I want it to be quite thick. So I need to give them an offset and I'm going to off offset them separately so that they don't weld together. So here is the result of my offset. And the next thing I'm going to do is select everything and align it again align it to the bottom so that everything is nice and straight. Next I'm going to change the size of my font so I need to um, take off the aspect ratio 
I've measured my cup and I'm just going to adjust the size so that it fits nicely on my cup. The next thing I want to do is attach the two parts together, otherwise Cricut Design Space will split it up. So I've selected everything and now I'm hitting attach so that it comes as one solid piece. And I'm just going to add some colour so you can kind of visually see what it will look like, even though that doesn't really matter. And now we are ready to make it. So I will be selecting holographic permanent vinyl as my cut settings. So let's cut. Okay, so I have my, um, my vinyl here, but before I put it down on the mat, there is a thin film that needs to be removed. And it's quite fiddly to kind of grab a hold of, just use your weeding pen to just pick the corner, which is what I did. So that needs to be removed. And then I'm going to place this on the mat and cut. Okay, before I unload the mat, I just want to check to see if it did cut all the way through. Okay, I think I need to do one more pass. Right, so that's cut all the way through, so I'm going to now get to weeding. Okay, so I'm now ready to read this. So I've got my Libby glass here, a paper towel, some alcohol, because I need to clean the glass to remove any dirt or any grease from my fingers. And I've got some parchment paper here that I'm going to be using to kind of line up as a, as a hack that I've seen on um, TikTok. And I've got my tech wrap transfer tape. So I'm just going to now weed this. So that weeded really nicely. So now I'm going to use my transfer tape. Hopefully it's big enough, just about. But that will be okay. So I'm just going to cut that bit off because I don't need that bit. Okay, I'm going to quickly clean my glass. Should have done that first. Pump's not working for some strange reason. Just clean the sides. And this is the frosted um, glass. This is a sublimation glass. It is a sublimation glass, but I'm not sublimating on it. Right, so that's gonna dry off. And while that's drying, I'll just use my scraper to So that's 
on there now. And I'm just going to place it, mm, let me see. I'm going to put it on like my glass here hopefully it won't roll and I'm just going to line it up so it is straight so I'm going to make sure that this is burnished onto the glass really well however this is a permanent vinyl and so some care instructions need to be given to the new owner so I have um, written up a really fun and Love Island inspired care instructions, which is, Hi, I'm Frosted Drinkware Glass and I'm coupled up with Eleanor. Although I'm dishwasher safe, Eleanor is not. Do not place me in the dishwasher or stand me in water. Doing so may cause Eleanor to recouple with the dishwasher or sink. So this is what it's looking like. I think it looks really lovely. It looks just like the Love Island merch. It is beautiful. And I hope Eleanor loves it. Um, I'm now going to fill it up with some cold water so we can see the color change. If you found this video useful or interesting, please like and subscribe if you haven't yet done so. And click your post notification bell and check all so that you never miss a video from me. Please feel free to interact with the comment section by leaving any comments, questions or any suggestions about any videos that I should do in the comments section below. And as always guys, don't have a good day, have an amazing day. Till next time, bye!